hello dear students how are you i hope you are all doing fine today we are going to continue our uh, lesson lesson one what is electricity of unit 10 okay uh, we have said before in our previous session that uh, the atom is the smallest building unit of the matter and it consists of different particles which are protons electrons and neutrons and uh, each one of these particles have different uh, electric charge. For example, the protons have positive charged elect uh, particles, while electrons are negatively charged particles. But neutrons are neutral. Neutral means they are they have no charge. They have no charge. Today, let's see if the charged uh, gets close to each other. What happens if they are similar? What happens and if they are different or opposite what happens so let's start with the charges for example let me ask you a question sometimes your hair stand while combing right sometimes like this cute girl you see sometimes while combing your hair what happens your hair stand why why sometimes it happens yes it happens sometimes because actually, when you comb your hair, electrons move from each other or move from the stands uh, of the hair to the brush or to the comb. Here, here is the comb or the brush, whatever, what you are using. When you comb your hair, electrons move from the strands of the hair to the comb. The negative, huh? here is the negative signs. The negative charge means electrons, yes, as we have said our, in our last session, and the positive ones are the protons so when the electrons move away from the hair to the comb or to the brush what happens only the positive charges are remained here only the positive charges remained on the hair so what what happens so all the strands are positively charged again so what will happen all the strands having the same charge all the strands which have the same charge causes them to repel one another repel one another and stick out repel one another means push away from each other they are pushed away from each other repel one another and stick out it means that they are repel that they are uh, pushing away from each other so in general when two same when the same charges get close to each other they repel each other Repel means get away or push away from each other, like positive and positive. You see, they get away or repel each other, like negative and negative. By the way, negative and negative, they repel each other. What about the opposite charges? Opposite charge, positive and negative. Here is a positive and negative. What happens if they come together or close to each other? They attract each other, attract each other, pull together not repel but pull together see particles with the same charge repel same charge like positive and positive like negative and negative they repel each other or push away from one another push away from one another can you see the arrows here and there while particles with opposite charges attract one another opposite charge like positive and negative opposite to each other so they attract one another or pull together come together to each other so in this example we have a uh, same charge same charge on her hair on the girl's hair okay so that's why they repel each other so now let's see another example of different or opposite charges what happens if two ob uh, objects of different or opposite charges get close to each other let's see what happens For example, in the dryer, you know the dryer? After uh, washing our clothes, we put it in the dryer to get dry, to get it dry out, right? Sometimes when we get the clothes out from the dryer, they are sticking together or sticking to each other. For example, like this t-shirt and this socket. What happens? Sometimes they are sticking together. Why? Why? Here is the question. Because in the dryer, Atoms in clothing gain and lose electrons. 
inside the dryer while they are revolving inside it what happens inside the dryer the clothes gain and lose electrons so for example this t-shirt the the yellow one becomes all all of them become positive positively charged while the socket this blue socket have negative charge on its surface so what happens they are different they are opposite as we have said since a while let's see what happens each piece of clothing becomes charged each piece becomes charged so this one becomes positive charge for example and this one becomes negative charge so what happens the positively charged surfaces attract the negatively charged ones attract attract stick together so the positive one and the negative one attract each other that's why sometimes the clothes sticking together while we getting rid them from uh, getting them out from the dryer so as a result of this the clothes stick together why because the positively charged particles attract the negatively charged ones that's why they stick together those ones stick together but this girl's hair stick out <laughs> stick out from uh, the strands from each other because they were same charge all of them so this kind is called this way uh, this uh, is called electricity this what happens here is called electricity but this kind of electricity is called static electricity static electricity means building up of the charges on an object when there are some charges staying on an object it's called static electricity but they are not moving they are not moving they are still staying on the object so it's called static electricity so static electricity means build up of electric charges on objects build up of electric charges on objects and as we said static electricity means not moving not moving not like the electric wires this kind of electricity is different when we uh, put the uh, electric wire in the socket to turn on the television to turn on the washing machine this kind of electricity is so different is different we are going to study it in our next session but this is electricity is called static electricity means not moving electricity only building up of the electric charges on the object like here this clothes on the dryer like this girl's hair while combing and so on so uh, static charges static charges stay on the object keep staying on the object until it comes close to an object with different charge so this charge is positive they are still at the same place they are still uh, staying until another object of different charge come towards it like this example of the clothes in the dryer when they come close to each other when they come close to each other something happened is called electrostatic discharge electrostatic discharge again an electrostatic discharge happens when the electrons jump from the object of a negative charge like this socket to an object with positive charge like this t-shirt something happens between them called electrostatic discharge again electrostatic discharge mean or happens when the electrons these negative ones the negative charges the electrons jump from the object of negative charge to an object of positive charge something happened when they jump from here to there this thing is called electrostatic discharge but actually this is a small one we cannot feel it or we can feel it but not that much but sometimes it happens with a very big scale like what like what happens in the lightning strikes you know the lightning yes this electric charges happens in the lightning and by the way it's very dangerous and you have to be careful on dealing with the thunderstorms and lightning storms i'm gonna tell you why after a while so what happens during the thunderstorms you know the thunder yes the thunder and lightning what happens during first the thunderstorm and what happens during the lightning let's see first of all during the thunderstorms during the thunderstorms tiny raindrops 
the tiny raindrops and ice particles bump into each other. Okay, again, the raindrops, tiny means very small, very small raindrops and ice particles bump into each other, causing electric charge to build in the clouds. So the clouds now be become charged. The clouds become charged. How? For example, positive charges form on the top of the cloud and on the ground. Again, positive charges form on the top of the cl cloud at the top and on the ground. And negative charges form near the bottom of the cloud. Near the bottom of the cloud. So the negative charges at the bottom of the cloud while the positive charges at the top of the cloud and on the ground. So now the ground is positive and the bottom of the cloud is negative. So what happens between them? Hmm. We have said since a while, electrostatic discharge. Yes, when the electrons jump from the negative charge particle or body to positive one, what happens between them from positive and negative as we have said since a while? Yes, electrostatic discharge. So yes, when the difference is in charge between the cloud and the ground is great enough, is great enough, what happens? There is a huge electrostatic discharge happens, which is called lightning. It's called lightning. This light, yes, this electric charges is called lightning, but it's a huge one, not like what happened in the dryer of the after washing the clothes. No, this one is very huge. Huge till what? Huge means its temperature. Can you imagine the temperature inside the lightning can reach 27, 27,760 degrees centigrade. Can you imagine the temperature inside it? Again, the temperature inside a lightning bolt can reach 27,760 degrees centigrade, which is hotter than the surface of the sun. Hotter than the surface of the sun. And by the way, when lightning strikes, it can catch objects on fire. Sometimes we hear about accidents and disasters that some trees in the forests are fired or burned all of them due to thunderstorms or due to lightning. So we have to be very careful and we have to take safety rules when dealing with thunder strikes. Like what? Let's see. What should we do during the thunderstorms and what shouldn't we do? Let's see. The lightning safety. Number one, stay inside. If you are in a home or in any place or any building, stay inside and turn off the electric appliances during thunderstorms. Any electric equipment, any electric device at home, turn it off. Turn off the television, turn off the washing machine, turn off any electric appliances and stay inside. Okay? Number two, stay away from windows. Don't stand near to the window. Stay away from the window in order not to be caught by the electric shocks of the uh, electric charges of the lightning. Be careful. Number three, if you cannot get inside, if you are not in a building, if you cannot get inside a building, what, what, what are you going to do? Wait in a car. If you are in a car and no building surrounding you or around to be inside, stay in a car or wait in a car with a metal roof, with a metal roof for the storm to pass until the storm pass. Okay, keep inside the car if you cannot keep uh, be inside or stay inside a building and listen to the weather forecast. You never know the weather forecast, the news, the weather news for updates about the thunderstorms. Updates means what's going to happen after a while, for how long will it stay, for how long, for how many hours, for how many minutes. So we have to know the updates of the thunderstorms through the weather forecast. So we have to listen to the weather forecast from the radio or from the radio. Yes, or television for the updates about the thunderstorms and we have to make a plan in case of the thunderstorms develops in case it happens for in case it long it start uh, it takes more time okay we have to make a plan what we are gonna do in case it takes more time or in case it develops okay so today about uh, electricity static electricity and uh, in our next meeting we are gonna uh, continue our lesson see you my dear students bye bye <laughs> Thank you.